Hello everybody, Winter here, and we are back in space astronomy. Look at that. You see that up there? That's the moon. One day we're gonna go there. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, there's a slime island up there. So I know that we haven't really recorded anything else but this, and you guys might be going like, another space astronomy episode? Yes, another space astronomy episode. Because I can't progress in anything I'm doing. I can't work behind the scenes until we get some more quests done. So we need to do that today. We need to do that today. We need to do a couple little mini quests really quickly. Um, in getting started, we need to do the starting a farm, craft 10 pieces of bread. I think I'm pretty sure I have enough of that. Let me see here. Oh wait, I know how to make bread. <gasps> yeah, like that. We're gonna craft 21 pieces of bread. How do you like that? So we can claim rewards. I'm going to claim the melon. Yeah. Okay, so then we have upgrading the farm. And that's why I got melon because we need melon seeds, two of those. And we need pumpkin seeds and carrots and potatoes. So that's nothing. We're not going to really care about that right now. Another one we have right here is getting rubber. Collect 10 rubber, collect 10, five rubber saplings. We have this. We're going to claim, let's claim some raw rubber. Claim reward. So we got that. We're also going to do get protection. We're going to make some iron armor because that's another quest. This is another one I wanted to do, but I couldn't because you guys were not here with me. So I'm making it now. I need armor. I need armor so bad. Like I wanted to go mining again and I was like, I can't because I can't do quests off camera. So I've been here waiting, waiting. And I was, I will show you what I've been doing. Let me see. Oh, we have armor. Okay, claim reward. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Honestly, this stuff I can work on later. Um, machines and equipment. What's in here? Oh, that's something else. Tools and weapons. An upgraded tool thing. Um, I'm going to show you guys what we've been doing. Because today we're going to show you. This is going to be maybe a quick episode. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've been working on their, our wheat farm. Um, I'm also doing a Pam's Harvest Craft farm over here. I cleared out more of this area. Um, we got some beans. We plant those. Some more bamboos. Sometimes they don't spawn. I don't understand that. Sometimes you just click them and they disappear. Because that's helpful. But I don't really have anything. They're they're sort of alphabetically sorted. And they're, there's just a line, a row of each. Some are longer than others. I don't care. I didn't really have a... See, like that one just del deleted itself. I right-clicked it and it just went... Pfft. No. How about that? That one's mature. That one's... There we go. That one came out. Sometimes they do, and other times they go, mm, no. <laughs> it's like rude. Rude crops. I'm not really like taking too much time to really plan a farm because we're not going to stay here very long. As soon as we're in outer space, we're in outer space. But I figure, why not? It was giving me something to do because I couldn't really do anything else. See, sometimes they come out and sometimes they don't. Um, I don't really plan on staying here on the earth's in as long as we have to that one just disappeared all right grab the corn this is so entertaining i love watching winter plant crops just bear with me cucumber is this called cucumber yeah wait did i not i missed one there we go cucumber that's curry eggplant garlic Grapes, kiwis, leek. Is that one mature? No, it's only 29%. Alright, so there's that. How come the sounds are so loud? Or quiet? No, that would be why. So, well, that might be a little too loud. So, we did that. Okay, and I did show you guys that I, what I wanted to do today. We were going to learn how to make castings today. Now, castings take a uh, tin... No, aluminum and copper. And I think it's three tin to every one copper. We're going to see here. Um, here's aluminum and copper. I'm pretty sure it's three aluminum to one copper. Either that or it's one, uh, three copper to one aluminum. So, okay. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do is because we're doing this because I'm, I'm organized. We have 16 ingots here. That's enough to make another iron block. Little, 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 little. Neener, neener, neener. Weedle, weedle, weedle. It's enough to make one iron block. Beep. And then it says we still have 
seven ingots. Now we obviously can't make an iron block out of that because it's only seven ingots. So we do need to make a casting so we can make ingots instead of that. Um, so stick that and do that. Um, okay, so we're gonna do one copper and three aluminum. We'll see if that makes us our casting aluminum. I'm think I think it is. It will. You can also use gold, but I don't have any gold yet. We haven't gotten down uh, deep enough into the ground to get gold. So I'm going to use uh, this casting aluminum. Now, another thing is that you can use uh, two things to make this casting thing. Um, let's assume, though, you haven't found iron yet. Because you can use an ingot to make a casting. But... Let's just pretend we don't have iron ingots yet. We're going to do this. We're going to fire up this clay really quickly. This is my take on how to understand these mods when you're an idiot. Because <laughs> I don't. Okay, a brick. Okay, let's take a look in here. Yes, we have molten aluminum brass. That's what you need to make casts. So what you have to do first is you can't just like you know pour it down here you have to have something to have the cast form around now this is how like you know you do wax casting too in real life i used to work in a wax casting factory and what we would do is we would make wax uh we'd make wax like blade it for jet plane engines and you'd build them on this mold and they'd cover them in plaster then they'd melt the wax out and put metal inside and then you'd have metal blades this is pretty much the same principle you're going to slap your ingot there, and then we're going to make sure that that's down at the bottom. Because whatever one is at the bottom here, you can change them up to. You can click them and change them. Whatever one's at the bottom is the one that's going to come out of the spout. So you got to really watch what you're doing because you can screw things up. Like if I were to pour that iron in here, it would never solidify. It would just be down there in the bottom forever, and you'd, you'd have to just break it and waste it. So we're going to click that, and bam! Now we have an ingot casting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here and we're going to click on our iron. Then you go bink. It's going to pour it in there. And bam! We have iron ingots. Isn't that cool? That is so cool, isn't it? It's so cool. So we're going to throw some iron in there. Make some iron ingots. I probably shouldn't do this because we're going to make iron tools. This is cool. This is cool to me. What I usually do is I have a chest right here to keep all of my castings because <laughs> you're going to like have to flip back and forth between uh, castings and stuff a lot. Unless you have like tables set for different castings and stuff. I usually have a chest right here and, <laughs> and then you can stick all your castings because we're going to make multiple castings. In fact, you can just pick this casting up, slap it right in there. So, okay. What we want to do is make an... Uh, upgraded tool forge right there so to make a tool forge tool forge this is how we make a tool forge we need three seared bricks a tool station and four blocks of iron so do we have enough iron for four blocks of iron no <laughs> great do I have any more iron to smelt Probably not. Good job, me. Yay. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go mining for iron. And I'm going to pause the recording so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys back in a few minutes. And we are back. I went into that mine shaft. I just went to sleep. Um, and I got some more iron. I got... <laughs> I killed a skeleton. Um, yeah, so... Let's stick more iron in here. All the iron we got. That's going to cook up. We'll have some more iron to eat. Found more other metals too while was in there. So we got some more bauxite, some more tin, some more osmium, some more copper, some more aluminum. There we go. Awesome. Some more awesomeness. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I I didn't like the, the way it looked, so I sort of boarded it with carpenter stairs and then covered it with sand because, I don't know. Because I, I don't have any silk touch, so I couldn't put grass blocks around it. So, and I didn't want to do dirt. That's what I did. Okay. So, let's check our iron. Almost done. 
ingots. Now we have 29 ingots. We can make just an iron block. Little, little, little. We've got this. Here's Anvil. Must be underneath me somewhere. And iron. Okay, so let's get the rest of our iron blocks. And we need these. And we need to make another. I need to have one of those. Okay, I need that. Okay, so what we gotta do. Yes. I need to make another crafting table. And then put that there. And then we need seared bricks. This, that, and that. And we have a tool forge. So we can throw this right here. And tool forge makes it so we have tons more tools here. So we did that. We got a tool forge, claim awards. Oh, it's gonna give us more iron. Yay, now it wants us to create an iron hammer. Ooh, I almost wanna pick, I'll probably pick the emerald. Um, we need to make a hammerhead pattern, a tough rod pattern, and a large plate pattern. So let's go over here to our stencil table. We need to make more patterns. Um, let's make more patterns. There's four more patterns. So we're gonna make, was it a hammer, um, hammerhead pattern? And then it was a tough rod, tough rod pattern, and a large plate pattern. Let's stick all these in here. So what we're gonna do, oh, do I have to put this back in? Hold on, I'll take this one. Oh, do I not have the tough rod pattern? Sword blade, uh, tool rod, tough rod, there we go. Creating parts. Now we need to make a stone hammerhead, stone tough rod, and a stone large plate. So we're gonna go over here. Get rid of that. We're gonna make a stone large plate. Put that back there. A stone tough rod. Any more? Material cost three. Oh, oh, okay. I'll put more cobble there. What? There we go, stone tough rod, great. And the hammerhead. Oh, Enderman. Okay, so we have that. Now we need to create casts of these, which we're gonna do just like we made the actual ingot cast. Just don't look at me, just don't look at me. We're gonna stick this, your butt. We're gonna stick this hammerhead pattern there. We're gonna come over here, make sure this aluminum is at the bottom, and then we're gonna click on it. Pink. Look at that. We don't need this. <laughs> so we have a hammer. We have this. Now we're gonna stick the stone tough rod down. Click on that. Grab this out. Go. <laughs> Grab that. And of course, our stone large plate, which looks like it sort of fills up the whole thing, but trust me, we we're making a casting. I think it's done. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we have these castings. Yes. Now we need to create the iron parts of these castings. So how many do we need? We need one tough rod, two iron plates, and one iron hammer head. So let's make the two iron plates because I think that's the most thing we're gonna do. We're gonna come over here, grab the molten iron again. We gotta make two of these. It's really hard to tell when this is done. You just sort of gotta like think and hope. Wow, how many ingots does that take? Is that 20? It took like eight ingots. Holy free holies. It took like eight ingots to make that plate. I might need more iron. Holy free holies. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough iron for everything else. Jeez, I only have four ingots left. Oh, I got some more here I can melt. Watch, we'll melt some more. There you go, you can have that. Okay, so we've got two of those plates. We can stick that in here. Oh, I think that tells us how many ingots it's gonna cost. This is gonna cost three ingots. That takes eight, yeah. So, hey, I just learned something with you guys. 
So we're gonna make the rod because that only takes three and gets worth. Bing! Grab that, slap that back in there. Now we're gonna make the hammerhead. Those are almost melted because we need more. We only have, we wouldn't even get worth of molten iron in there. Do, 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 do. Bink! And now we have 16. So now we have enough for that. Go grab it. We're going to do this. And boop. So we can throw that in here too. So we got that ac accomplished. Now we have to build the iron hammer, which we're going to do over here in our tool forge. And you can click on the hammer. And it says right there, look, you got to have that and that. And that. And that. And we have an iron hammer! Yay! Achievement Guide Pro Tinkerer! <laughs> I'm so pro! And now we can choose something. And you know what? Emeralds are kind of hard to find because they have to be in a specific biome. I'm pretty sure once we dig down deep enough, we can find diamonds. So I'm going to select emerald, I think. Claim. Okay, so we have an emerald. And what else do we have we can do? Go back. Now it wants us to either craft heavy duty tools, which I don't know how to do yet, or getting armed, it wants us to make a craft a laser gun, which I don't know how to do yet. So I think with that, we're going to call this a day. <laughs> like if you guys have liked this video, leave me some comments down below, and I will see you guys all next time in space astronomy. Bye bye.